Hi everyone, I am Rob Rice, Director of Education and Co-Owner of Nailogic. Nailogic has been providing top quality nail enhancement products and education with these products for more than 20 years. We have more than a combined 50 years of application and education experience just in the management staff here at Nailogic. We think of Nailogic to be an education company first. Nailogic manufactures Nailogic's hard gels, Tendigo gel polishes, Acrylic IQ professional gels, Nailogic wraps products, and Nailogic Otos acrylics for state boards testing. I would like to take a brief few moments to share some thoughts with you. This updated video is intended to enhance the learning curve for those new to nails or to Nailogic products. Our videos attempt to stress the little things, you know, the little things that sometimes make a great big difference in the end result. Our videos will take the viewer step by step through the application procedure, not only using video, but printed instructions right on the screen and voice instructions as well to skip, ignore, or not complete steps as identified in this video would likely not produce the results you need or want. Please take advantage of the option to watch this video, stop it, restart it, rewind it, rewatch it, and compare your practice to what the video demonstrates. We at Nailogic cannot overstress the importance for practice. Practice is repetitions. Repetitions promote understanding. Understanding leads to confidence. And only with confidence can you build speed. Anyone who owns Neologic products can call our office for product applications assistance. After all, we consider Neologic to be an education company first of all. Contact information can be found on our product containers, on our printed instructions, or at nailogic.com. That's nailogic with one L dot com. We hope you find this video to be instructive and helpful. Nailogic's best advice. Watch this video from start to end, then watch it again, stopping and starting the video step by step as you complete each step as demonstrated in this video. You will need these items to prep a finger or hand to do your practice or to take the state board's test. Once having assembled all these items, let's begin prepping. Feel free to stop and start this video as needed. The items or the products necessary to perform the next step will typically be viewed on your screen prior to the beginning of the video of the next step. I suggest using a 100 grit file and a good bit of pressure to etch the entire surface of the practice finger. This is not a natural nail. For natural nail prep, refer to the appropriate instructions for natural nail prep. In order to have a tip stick well to a fake finger, a rough surface will be necessary. Please note etching equally all the way down to the cuticle and down to the side walls. Shape a little. Hand and nail sanitizer, spray, and using the sanitizer brush we are going to spray and then sweep the surface clean of debris. A tip to applying a tip. Now is the time to apply the tip. 
Notice how we apply this way, not this way. Let's look at that again. We're going to apply the tip this way. As needed, file to custom fit the tip end of the tip to match the shape of the fake finger's cuticle area. See how that's done? Let's go ahead and apply this first tip. We're going to need some tip resin and seven or eight size tips work best. Using the tip resin, we're going to apply some resin to either the tip or the finger surface. Then, we're going to apply the tip, rock it in place, and hold for at least 10 seconds. When using resin activator, apply the adhesive to one surface and the activator to another. Using your nail clippers, we're going to clip fairly short. Let's look at that again from a different angle. We're clipping it fairly short. You will either be attaching a tip to this one later or applying a form for a sculpt. The tip is now what would be the natural nail. Shape or file and prepare this surface to receive another tip for an overlay or a form for sculpting. Always, always buff or file the tip surface. Remove all of the shine. We're going to sanitize once again. Spray. And we're going to sweep, sweep, sweep to make certain that all file particles, nail tissue, everything that does not belong on the nail surface is gone. Now for an overlay, simply apply a tip as you would to a natural nail. Using the tip resin, apply a new tip. As in your textbooks, stop, rock, and hold for about 10 seconds. We're going to clip that tip to the desired length. And we're going to begin to file in order to shape. Blend the new tip as needed. This is typically most important with your natural tips. White tips, perhaps you're not going to. Always, always buffer file to etch the tip surface. Remove all the shine. And we're going to sanitize once again. Spray, sweep, brush away all debris. Done. Now we're ready to apply product. Nailogic's best advice, watch this video from start to end, then watch it again, stopping and starting this video step by step as you complete each step as demonstrated in this video. You will need these items to apply an acrylic overlay.
Let's begin a Neologic Odorless Acrylic Overlay. Once again, stop and start this video to practice at your own pace. Using the nail dehydrator, apply as you would polish for nails that are oily or moist. Always cap the free edge. Apply the Nail Logic Adhesion Booster as you would polish. Always cap the free edge. First thing you need to know about odorless acrylics, they dry much more slowly than professional acrylics. So it's very important to pay attention to these instructions to help understand how to get the best result more quickly. These are the items that you need to get started with your Neologic Odorless Acrylic Overlay. We're going to create an acrylic ball. Dip into the monomer and dip into the powder. Be advised, the wetter the brush, the bigger the ball you must make. Only practice will teach you how to get the best result each and every time. Drop the ball on the tip of the nail. The ball should remain fairly stiff on the nail surface. Demonstrate. Watch this ball. Drop it on the nail and watch it begin to flow. If it flows on its own, it is too wet. And if it wipes off this easily, it's certainly too wet. Let's take a look at what happens when we create a ball too dry. Take note of how much time is spent in the acrylic powder. Watch the acrylic brush being dried. This ball is a little too dry, but if you add very little odorless monomer, you will find the product is still workable. As you have just seen, you can always add a little tiny bit of monomer, so it would be much better to create a ball a little too dry than too wet. Once the ball is too wet, you cannot then make it drier. So, always, always dry your brush before you begin to work your acrylic product. Let's watch this again. Creating a ball, drop it on the nail, dry your brush. Let me show you why you must dry your brush before working your product. Watch how much we dry this brush. Now look how much monomer is still in this brush. If you do not dry your brush, you will add more monomer from the brush to the ball, making it too wet. Back to the application. Watch as we use the belly of the brush to move product around. Too much brush pressure will flatten a nail. Flat nails are weak nails. We must begin to create an arch. Gentle brush strokes to blend and smooth. If your product begins to flow on its own, your acrylic balls are too wet. It's all about the angle of your brush and the pressure you apply. Create additional balls as necessary. Notice the angle of the brush has changed to make the product at the cuticle thinner for less filing. Once having moved product from side to side, pay attention to the angle of your brush and pressure to draw and smooth toward the free edge. Let's watch that again from a different view. Create a ball, 
drop the ball on the nail. Always, always dry your brush before you begin to shape. Pay attention to brush pressure. You must create an arch. Too much pressure will flatten the nail. Use the belly of the brush to move product and the tip of the brush to blend and smooth. Keep product thin and off the skin along the side walls and cuticle. Looking pretty good. Let's watch that again. Make a ball. Drop it on the nail dry your brush. Here we use the tip of the brush and pressure to taper product down to make it thin to the cuticle. Then using long gentle strokes to blend and smooth the acrylic surface. Belly of the brush to move product. Allow time to dry. After three minutes it will still be sticky. However, tap it with your brush handle. If it sounds hard, you can begin your filing. Clean your brush with brush cleaner. Now choose the file that you prefer to use. When the acrylic has dried, file for shape. As a rule, the longer your file stroke, the faster the filing will occur. It's all about the angle of your file and the pressure you apply. Caution when filing near skin. It is okay to saw on product surfaces. Once having filed and gotten your basic shape, choose your buffer and buff entire surface aggressively. Caution when buffing near skin. Use your hand to nail sanitizer and the sanitizer brush. We're going to spray with sanitizer and sweep the surface clean of debris. Notice the nice gentle arch on this nail. Done. Once this nail is now clean and dry, would be the time that you're going to begin to apply a gel polish. Nailogic creates the tend to go custom gel polish colors where you create the colors and shades and only enough for one client at a time. Nailogic's best advice, watch this video from start to end, then watch it again, stopping and starting the video step by step as you complete each step as demonstrated in this video. You will need these items to sculpt a Nailogic odorless acrylic nail. Let's begin. This is the Nailogic Nail Dehydrator. We're going to apply as if it were polish. Watch as it's done. Always cap the free edge. 
using the Neologic Adhesion Booster. This is a non-acid primer. Apply as you would polish and always, always cap the free edge. The first thing you need to know about odorless acrylic is that it dries much more slowly than a professional acrylic. So it's very important to pay close attention to these instructions to help understand how to get the best results more quickly. Watch this. This is very important. If when you have created a ball and have put it on the nail, and if it begins to flow by itself, the ball you have created is too wet. And if you can wipe it off this simply, it is too wet. Or, the other side of this equation, it takes more powder, less odorless monomer when working with an odorless than you would with a professional acrylic. Pay attention to how much time is being spent in the acrylic powder. We're going to drop that on the nail. This ball is too dry. See how it remains frosty for more than five seconds. Add just a little tiny bit of odorless monomer and begin to work the product again. So, better to make your acrylic balls a little too dry. Once put on the nail too wet, you cannot make it drier. So, with these things in mind, let's get started. After having prepped a practice finger as demonstrated in the prepping a nail portion of this video, having applied a tip, sanitized, dehydrated and primed the nail, it is time to apply a form and begin to sculpt. Whatever form works best for you. Apply the form using the white acrylic powder and monomer. It's time to apply the white acrylic. Creating an acrylic ball to be the correct consistency will require practice. Practice will be your best teacher. Remember, the wetter your brush, the bigger the ball you must make. If the acrylic balls you make flow on their own, the ball is too wet. The ball should remain stiff until you move it. Always, always dry your brush before working your product. Let me show you why it is so important to dry your brush. Watch how much drying we are doing of this brush. Now watch this. See how much monomer was still in those brush bristles. If you do not dry your brush, you will keep adding monomer to the ball, making it too wet, and it takes more work and longer to dry. Using the belly of the brush, begin to move product from side to side. It is all about the angle of your brush and the pressure you apply. Using the belly of the brush, you must apply more pressure at the free edge and sidewalls where product needs to be thinner, less pressure near the center of the nail. You must begin to create an arch. Angle your brush so the belly applies more pressure at the free edge and sidewalls, less pressure toward the center of the nail. Be firm along the sidewalls to keep acrylic thin in those areas. A couple of techniques working in a smile line. These will take practice.
using your pink or clear acrylic powder we are going to apply a pink or clear ball immediately behind the white drop your ball on always always dry your brush before working your product you can always add more monomer later again with the belly of the brush less pressure in the middle of the nail more pressure at the side walls then gently sweep toward the free edge to blend and smooth watch again again belly of the brush to move gently sweep to blend and smooth create acrylic balls as needed always always dry your brush before working your product at the cuticle use the brush tip to work acrylic back to preserve an arch more pressure at the cuticle areas less pressure toward the center of the nail more pressure at the free edge watch again from a different angle flat nails are weak nails and this should be your desired result now to file and shape we must remove the form choose your file long file strokes will render a faster filing result sawing on product is okay remember it is all about the angle of your file and the pressure you use caution when filing near cuticles and sidewall acrylic product should be thinner at the cuticle sidewalls and tip and arched in the middle of the nail flat nails are weak nails product should always be thickest where the nail would be weakest expect more filing when you're new less filing when you've had more experience notice the nice gentle finished arch choose a buffer and we're gonna buff to a smooth finish caution when buffing around the cuticle and sidewalls when buffing is finished we're going to use the hand to nail sanitizer and your sanitizer brush spray sanitize and sweep clean and allow this to dry now is a good time for some gel polish Nailogic creates the 10 to go custom gel polish colors where you create the colors and you only need to make enough to do one client at a time